Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about a new, well, not a new text, but it's an updated text which is called uh, Restrict Events, which will potentially help us with updating uh, macOS Monterey to, to the latest betas, and probably it, this will help us to update to, to the final release of Monterey without any issues. So this will be a short tutorial. I'll, I'm going to show you how to, where to download it from, and uh, we will we will add it to our uh, config playlist as well as the EFI folder. So, okay. So first things first, go to Dortania GitHub.io, which you can find all the builds, uh, all the latest builds of various texts and as well as the open core package as well. So the text we're interested in is called Restrict Events. So we choose that. We choose the version 105 and then the latest uh, build, which if you read about it, it will say that added macOS 12 software update support with any Mac model. And if you remember previously, we had to uh, switch our um, SM BIOS to iMac 17,1 just to get the update, and and uh, this potentially will help us to eliminate that, and this will work with any supported SM BIOSes. So download that, download release, open that. In the in the folder we will get restrict events text. That's what we need. Let's put it on desktop. Let's mount our EFI. Volumes, EFI. And just drag that to the text folder. As you can see, this is the text. Now what we have to do is just to open config plist. Uh, let's open with property tree. It's going to be quicker to update. And what we have to do is File, OC snapshot. Well, just before that, I'll show you that that uh, text is not in the list. So, Lilo, whatever green, Virtual SMC, USB Man, Apple Alk, SMC Process, SMC, and Atheros. These are the texts I already have in my config. So, in order to have that, we have to do a file, OC snapshot and select our OC folder, choose, and now if, you, if we go to our kernel, add, we will see there is another text have been added, restrict events, it is enabled, make sure it's enabled, and also make sure on in platform info, in generic, you have advice features set to true. That's probably, that's all we need really to hopefully have no issues updating to the latest betas or final release. So let's just save it. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.